Good evening. What's up? You get us a minute early. Yeah. So, uh, what are we going to do with this minute? We're going to talk about... I think we should tell everybody that they should, they should show up next week for sure. Yeah, next week is going to be... We're going to have... We, it's something next week for sure. You want to see? You got. You gonna want to check out our next stream if you're a KeyForge fan on the 18th of September. So we'll we'll just we'll we'll leave it at that. But this stream's gonna be good too. Like, don't leave. Yeah, we have. <laughs> uh, we did. Yeah, uh, we will be in uh, Vault Tour and Ronnie Roll Clock. Uh, Ronnie Wrist Clock's role play. I gotta like uh, remember how to play in Vault Tour mode. Been three years. Yeah. So. <laughs> It's true. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know what happened? Uh, you didn't give me the matchups, so I have all the decks right here. And well, I we'll just, it, just I haven't paired them. Beefy ladies off this week. That's all you're really. That one, I, that one I put away. Okay. Um. So, real quick, game found is up to 400k, pretty, almost. Pretty good. question mark. By the time you watch this video Could on be. YouTube, yeah, it's already up to 400k. I think we'll get there by tomorrow, or at some point tomorrow. It's on track. Maybe even by tomorrow morning. Which is very exciting because then we get the decks unchained, and what I'm hoping for is that they'll add the unchained decks as an add-on, just like they did with the Savior of Keyforge decks. It sounds it makes sense that they would do that, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, who else? Who did anybody beat ten? I was number ten. Number ten in the rank. There's only, there's the only game founding. Yeah, and the ranked game Top founding 10. backing. I know. I know Zach didn't. His his legs are far too weak to catch me at number ten. <laughs> Wasn't sweaty Zach. But uh, um, uh, Ch Shogun said that I missed uh, top eight on tie breaks, which I thought was yeah. pretty funny. Tweet. <laughs> and so I funny. adapted it to make fun of Zach. So like uh, like any three, I got measly thirty four. Yeah, pathetic cause lies. I was like adding all my stuff to cart without yeah. just thinking. I could have just backed it and then immediately added stuff, no. and it didn't matter. Like you could no. you could have backed it for a single deck or whatever yeah. lowest tier, and then just go to adjust your pledge later. I was like, I can't. I got to make sure everything's right before I <laughs> click OK. It's not sweet enough for twenty two. Yep, yep, yep. Dang. All right, games. We play we play Keyforge here on tabletop royale. Frawdorn and phantasmal anchovies. Yeah, yeah, and bets. You're on anchovies. Yes, bets are going up. I'm on anchovies. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say something along the lines of, uh, "That's like going three and three. <laughs> it's like losing but a burning stockpile. It wasn't home when it was started. Mm. One, two, four, eight. You couldn't even gotten one, two, three, four. I was staring at the countdown. Couldn't sleep the night before thinking yeah. about. It. I don't know why. I was like, it's not like. I yeah. miss anything, yeah. Why oh, you have a glare? Yeah, I've got a glare because of the spinning around and falling down. I see. And the jumping and the jump shots. But yeah, no, it's an exciting time. Uh, a lot of Keyforge information over the weekend. Like a lot. We got some spoilers. Uh, from, Team uh, Covenant cast. Yeah. Uh, the French. Cast. Yeah, the French French Maybe. cast. Is it AFK? AFK, yeah, Association of French Keyforge. Well, they did an interview as well. So. It is popping off. It's very exciting. Yeah, there's exciting all, kind, all kinds of people talking about it on Twitter. Crested 2,000 backers. That's, good. That's, a, that's a decent number. Uh, so I did think it was really interesting. The thing, so I also, uh, whenever I view industry news, I always view it through the lens of a store as well, just yeah. because of uh, um, working at one. And I thought it was very interesting that the reason that there wasn't a retailer backer level for... Uh, the the game found was that Asmodee wanted to maintain the full rights for distribution to retailers, and uh, that was part of the agreement to sell the game. Is that Asmodee would still be the ones to distribute it? And Wild. So, uh, the game found couldn't have a. Um, but does that mean uh, they're going to be distributing it to? Good yes, to distributors? Which means it's going to fucking suck. You think so? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. UFS has been a nightmare. The I guess it's Universus now or whatever. But yeah. trying to like get Universus in your store. Was it's, it's actually a debacle. So um, yeah, mm. yeah. Asmodee's not done screwing over the game yet. Is what I I'm see. Saying. I see. Well, damn. Still yeah, injecting their point. That's yeah. terrible, man. I, I can't. I can't view Asmodee as anything other than open war with retailers. I can't. I cannot see it in any other way. Um, based off of the decisions they've made. Fifty-two. 
they want you to buy directly from like their websites that they bought, like Miniature yeah. Market, yeah. Uh, instead of going to your store. They don't mind. They don't mind doing an end run around uh, the retailers. Did who won that? Uh, I did. I was seventy three, so I got seven cards. Okay, I am good. Uh, I'll keep. I'll play daughter. And All right. Oh yeah, Voltorb. Oh, I am wait. going to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're wrong. That's right. I'll be keeping. I my think I'll be keeping cards. seven cards in my hand. <laughs> okay, I am going to call Star Alliance for the turn. I'm going to play a Biome Discovery. So I'm going to get an Amber for Biome Discovery. Uh, the tide side, you may look at the top two cards. Otherwise, raise the tide. As what he did by Miniature Market. It was uh it wasn't even public news. It was announced in some sort of shareholders meeting back when Asmodee itself was purchased by whatever that Nordic group is, the video game company. THQ? THQ, I believe. Whatever that group is. Maybe it wasn't THQ, but they were bought out. Asmodee itself was bought out by someone. And then during the presentation, they were basically talking about being vertical. Embracer, yes, Embracer group. So I'm going to play uh, CH337A. Uh, I'm going to play together. So I can play a non Star Alliance card if the tide's high. I can play another non Star Alliance card. So I'm going to play Sobog's Thingamabob. I'm getting an Amber for that. And then I'm going to play the Chosen One. So in my turn, I'm going to ready my cards and draw back up to six. All right. <laughs> now Ronnie's got some tricky plays up Ronnie's sleeves. Ronnie is gonna play. The... Judge, can you check my opponent's sleeves? <laughs> I, I mean, card sleeves. <laughs> All right, Ronnie is playing a Harbinger of Doom, and Ronnie's gonna drain touch it. <laughs> oh, yes. And then Ronnie is playing an Exhum to bring back Daughter. My opponent admitted to having cards in his sleeves. <laughs> yes, my card sleeves. <laughs> Ronnie is gonna play. An Imp Spectre, and Ronnie's going to play an Infernus. Uh, here you go. Ronnie's going to get these two. That's very good cards. And then Ronnie's playing a Rock Grub. You'll have lost both here, Amber. And Ronnie's going to finish up his turn and draw another six. <laughs> the sheer power of wrist clocks. Okay. Well, I'm mad. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say logos. I'm going to play science. I'm gonna play forgive or forget. Oh yeah, that's a I'm gonna get science and the chosen one. Pretty glad I purged a lot of that stuff. I mean one, yeah. I'm gonna play Eddie and archive a card. I'm uh, ready my cards. I'm gonna draw back up to six and I'm done. Ronnie is gonna see Brabnar. Ronnie's gonna play a rock curling giant. Ronnie's going to toss a slimy jark into Eddie there. Uh, Ronnie is going to play... Stokin. Now, Ronnie thinks maybe he made a mistake. <laughs> so Ronnie also has an Alaka and an Arp. Ronnie wonders if Ronnie could have gotten an extra Reap in here. Ronnie thinks no. Ronnie thinks that's incorrect. Uh, Ronnie is going to play... No, no, Ronnie's not playing NARP. Uh, Ronnie's going to toss NARP at Imp Spectre. Mm, okay. Ronnie is playing Sneaky. Yeah, so Ron Ronnie feels that was a mediocre pull. Ronnie's going to play a Laka, and Stilkin's going to ready. Stilkin has nothing to fight. And so Ken will reap. All right. Ronnie is finishing up his turn, still drawing five. His daughter. I used a daughter living this many turns. 
Hang out, well, I'll say Star Alliance. I will play Rocketeer Triska, and then Operative Espion will come to play Ready since the tide's high. Triska will reap. And I'm done. I have three cards in the end, I'll draw three. Six. Ronnie is going to see Brobnar. Ronnie is stuffing three blood monies onto Triska. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think of all that amber he's fixing to get. Uh, Rock Curling Giant's gonna fight Triska. The tent was purged. Uh, That's a warning for me. Alright, uh, a key lock. Oh yeah, we're feeling the game found, uh, game found hype there, Lazarus, for sure. It's it's a that's maybe like the most exciting week for Keyforge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, uh, in quite a long time. In, like it, I, I, they did a good job of taking the goodwill generated by Gen Con, transforming it into a successful crowdfund yeah. launch, right? So and they followed up, right? They were like they. They've, they've kept adding stuff to um, it, right? Like, uh, it, there's hints of organized play soon. There's all... Like, it sounds like they have, like, a trickle of stuff they're going to be talking about over the yeah. next month or so. Well, and uh, the cooperative things are going to be here um, sooner. Like, the, like, they're talking about maybe getting the cooperative stuff to retailer, yeah, before, like, the end of the year. Like in the next couple of months, That's so really like cool. key rack and stuff like that. Because they weren't they did, weren't expecting to sell out of the that, cooperative oh, stuff wow. at Gen Con, okay. and they did. So. Well, there you go. That's that's a good uh, indicator. Uh, Ronnie's going to reap twice. Speaking of cooperative stuff, I think we're going to do uh, key racking tomorrow with Logan. So three player key racking with someone who doesn't play keyboard. So it should be interesting. So if you want to see some co-op, I know people have been asking him if we're going to do them. So uh, yes, uh, we probably will. Drawn three. Ronnie's finished. What is the cooperative stuff? There's two uh, scenarios. There's there's the key racking and there's the abyssal conspiracy for cooperative keyforge content. It was originally print and play from Fantasy Flight, but uh, Ghost Galaxy yes. printed them. What is this Eddie Dog doing? Who, whoever it is. All right, so I'm gonna say logos and pick. I'll leave the archive there. I'm gonna play submersive principle. Okay. I'm gonna play old Egad. He's uh, exhausted. I killed Triska. Oh, that's Espion. Uh, I'm gonna play Forgive or Forget. We get. I'm gonna get Eddie and Forgive or Forget. Actually, yep. Yeah. I'm just get submersive. I'm just gonna get submersive instead. And uh, ready, draw three. Run is gonna see logos. Run is playing Tau Tau Vapors. Oh, yes. Run has learned a thing or two about. How to play Tau Tau Vapors. Ronnie is going to archive. Ronnie is going to play Crazy Killing Machine. Uh, Ronnie is playing Wormhole Tech. Ronnie's playing mini group think tank and he has to shoot his own stiltkin. That's fine, that nerd deserves it. And then Ronnie's gonna reap with the doctor. Ronnie's finished. Ronnie's gonna draw all three. Okay. I'll say logos and pick up the archive. I'll play. Science. And then play the submerged principle. So I'll gain one. Actually, no, I'll lose one and then I'll gain one. 
I'll lose none, and then gain one. Mm, right, because it's after. This is after you play an action card, right? So uh, yeah, I guess it is after it resolves, some, or is it like, like on the stack? It's not I like it's an Amber Pip, because Amber Pip would happen. Yeah, Amber Pip would happen. Sky Jedi, how's it going? Then I think it's, you play it, resolve it, then get an Amber. Yeah, I guess, I suppose. I thought play was like, play could be like as soon as it's like, not put on the stack because it's not magic, but if you like, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I remember there was a time where you could choose the order. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's the case anymore. Uh, I'm gonna play Eddie Archive a card. And I'm gonna reap with old Egad. I'm done. Ready, and I don't draw. Uh. Ronnie is going to say Logos. Ronnie's going to start by reaping with uh, Wormhole Tech. Okay, uh, Ronnie's going to Data <laughs> Forge. Um, Ronnie has seven cards in hand. You need 16? Nope. Ronnie fails to forge. Um. Group Think Tank is going to fight Eddie. Daughter is going to reap. Ron is going to use the crazy killing machine. With mine too, right? Yeah. Logos, Star Alliance. So Ronnie is going to kill Logos and Star Alliance. Ronnie's playing Tau Tau Vapors. Ron is playing Academy Training. Rock Hurling Giant is going to reap and draw. Ron is going to play Information Exchange. Ron is going to play Interdimensional Graft. Okay. Forgot to archive from Telltale? Uh, correct. That's a warning. Ronnie's finished. Ronnie's gonna say check with nine. Ronnie's drawn two. Okay, I'll say unfathomable. I'll play Frigorific Rod. Gain one. I'll play Recusal's Chant and exhaust creatures. Exhaust all creatures. This high this high. I'm gonna play Brain Drain. On ya. Bring your brain there. Holy! <laughs> okay. Woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> Hold on! Hold on a second. Let me just look at your discard pile real quick. Okay. Holy! Ronnie's been sculpting. <laughs> All right. Okay. F. I will put Infernus on top. And then... I'm gonna... Call of the Void Daughter. Destroyed exhausted creature, then you lose one. I will Tidal Wave here. It's gonna give you the tide. Destroy those guys. And then I'll play Seabringer, Kakoa, and the Chosen One. And my turn. Ready up, check with seven. Draw six. In your turn. Ronnie's gonna forge. Ronnie will tap all those dudes again. Super tap. Back to untapped. 
Or Ronnie's gonna say... Ronnie wonders if Ronnie should play Snag Smear. Yeah, it's certainly a choice. Logos. Uh, Ronnie, uh, Ronnie could only get locked out of Logos. Ronnie... Can Ronnie live with that decision? Ronnie might be able to live with that. Ronnie. Ronnie's gonna see this. Ronnie's playing Snacks Mirror. <laughs> Ronnie's gonna play Exhum. Bring back Dodger. Why are you barking? Well, Ronnie wondering why this dog's barking. Ronnie's gonna play Exhum again. Ronnie's gonna bring back Rock Hunter China. Ronnie's gonna play Soul Keeper. Eddie Treat. Ronnie's playing Soul Keeper on Daughter. Uh, Ronnie's playing Evil Eye. And Ronnie's gonna say check. Ronnie's gonna draw up to seven. Ronnie's gonna make the chosen one take five. Draw, shuffle, draw. Hey, we do have any cam. Okay. We do it. Tree time. Done. Treated. Been treated. Okay. You have seven. Ronnie's had seven cards in hand. Ronnie loves the number seven. <laughs> Ronnie's had seven cards in hand to the whole game. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say logos. I'm gonna play Mecha Bowie. Poor game, Bree. Thanks for the follow. Play key lock. I'll forgive or forget. I'll get Eddie and submersive. And I'm done. All right, Ronnie does not forge. Ronnie can't say logos. So Ronnie's going to see Brobnar. Uh, you gain one from the, the Mecha Bowie. Uh, Ronnie's going to Blood Money the Chosen One. Ronnie's going to play Mog Hunter. Ryan's gonna discard Alaka, doing four damage. Oh, <laughs> Ronnie, if guys, uh, archives. Uh, Ronnie's fine with that. Ronnie accepts that. Ronnie readies up and right. draws three. Well, forge for nine. I know it's a questionable decision, but the one I had to make. I'll uh, I'll say logos. Pick up the archive. I will. I'll raise the tide with some chains. I'll submersive. I'll play Eddie and archive. Play armor drone. Your turn. Ronnie is gonna see this. Ronnie's gonna play in furnace. My summer's a principal. <laughs> no. 
Ranger. Ronnie's going to reap with rock grub. Or kind of a. Ronnie's going to plea. The evil eye. Uh, and Furnace is going to fight Super Kako. And Ronnie's going to exhume in Furnace. Going in. He's forgetting, forgets. Let's go ahead and get those out of there. I'm forgetting them. I'm forgetting all about them. <laughs> forget and forget. Ronnie's finished. Ronnie's saying check with eight. Ronnie's telling you to go ahead. Ronnie's going to draw three. All right. I'll say Star Alliance. We're going to. We're going to Gak. Um, Logos, Unfathomable, Dis, Robner. Uh, Soul Keeper dies. Kills Seabringer. Okay, I will... Yeah, I do gain one from Bowie. Yeah. I will play Rocketeer Triska. I'll play Shield you later. And capture one. I will reap with the shield you later, and I am done. All right, Ronnie's forging for seven. Forge for seven, and then exhaust. Drop chain, draw three. Is the belt still in North Georgia? Uh, yeah, that's probably a herb. I think player herb knows who has it. I know he did that tournament. I think it got. Shuffled around there. Ronnie's picking up his archives and Ronnie's saying Brobnar. Ronnie's playing Ragorg. Happy game found. Yeah. Is it 400k yet? Everyone go throw $10,000 at it real quick. Ronnie's playing two blood monies. How many blood monies do you play this game? That's like, <laughs> like the six. Deck three. I know, but jeez. <laughs> Ronnie's berserker slamming Eddie. <laughs> Jeez. Ron is playing Ganger Chieftain. And uh, Ron is playing Ganger Chieftain here, and then Furnace will fight Triska. Stormtrunk, thank you for gifting that sub to Zach. Ron is, nice. Ron is saying check with six and telling you to go ahead. Dark Black, thank you for the prime game for six months. Look at all that. Look at that. Roll it in. Wow. Look at that support. Appreciate that, everybody. Uh, I'm going to say... I've been so busy drawing blood money, I haven't had a chance to look at chat. Unfathomable and pick up the archive. Actually, no, I'll leave the archive there. I will Storm Surge. I will play Tomwa of the Glow. I'll exhaust the Mog Hunter with the Frigorific Rod. And I'm done. Oh, I get one for Mech Movie as well. Drop Chain, draw two. All right, Ronnie is saying triple blood money new meta. Yeah, uh, Crow Dorn is on is on an uptick right now. I think it's been like winning some straight games. I, that deck is way too good to be three and four, honestly. I think it's I think it's got very polarizing matchups. Yeah, yeah, I think it's got very polarizing matchups. Um, like if your opponent, like you, you had, you blew up. Uh, eight amber or something like that um and uh but but i wasn't like, stopping your like well, production right? well that and you you weren't interfering with creatures yeah, a whole lot yeah. and uh your creatures like this deck really wants to use some of his creatures every now and again because it doesn't generate it like it it doesn't generate a whole lot of amber without its creatures all right ronnie's saying logos ronnie's playing tau tau <sighs> ronnie Ronnie needs to be better at playing Tau Tau. Ronnie, 
I've reached the point in my Baltimore mode where I've conceded the game internally. <laughs> <laughs> so Ronnie's playing Wormhole Tech. Ronnie's playing Academy Training. Ronnie's gonna reap with Ganger Chieftain and draw. Ronnie's playing Cutthroat and Interdimensional Graft and Data Forge. And Ronnie's saying check with nine. Okay, I lose. We lose here. Uh, Ganger Chieftain took two damage. We're dead. Okay. Phantasmal drops to three, four. Crodorn goes to four and four. When am I going to win a Keyforge game? <laughs> I won that game for Stormstrong. That's wrong. This one's for you, Stormstrong. One day I'll win a Keyforge game. It's been so long. <laughs> uh, yeah, like tune in, but do tune into our stream next week because we have, we might. There's some. There, there's probably it's probably worth your time too. It's probably week. worth your time. It's probably worth your time. Week. And also to keep watching tonight. That's all. Uh, worth your time. So there are a couple things that I thought were cool. Uh, I feel like having keyboards available in other languages is crucial for survival. The keyboard is bigger in the EU than it is in it. Yeah. Uh, well, so yeah. Uh, our YouTube stats. It's like at one point our YouTube stats were like two thirds EU people. I don't think it's watched. quite two thirds, but it's definitely it, like inch and on half. Yeah, well, at one point, like yeah, when we yeah. first started YouTube, uh, EU, because we stream at like graveyard hours for for EU, right? Like it's it's like, uh, uh, in the UK, it's like one in the morning right now. So. Like that and the shipping issues with the EU is definitely holding the the campaign back a bit. Uh, I think without that, it would have soared a bit higher. So you, Unfortunately, that's just the reality of producing in, in NA and shipping to the yeah, EU. It just yeah. sucks. It's just like that's just how it is, right? Um, but I do, I do think it's very possible we get to those other language tiers so that it'll be below where it be printed in other languages. Uh, That'll be very good for the game. Light Tasker was bought. It was bought? No, sorry. Well, we bought it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it, I opened it. it op we opened it in our initial run. Yeah, and we I opened it on stream. Yeah. You can go back up right now and watch us I remember getting my ass beat in the sealed. Yeah. And then I remember I, I, it, I had the rare achievement of saying Logos the whole game and winning. The uh the first game I played with it, and we didn't like we didn't even see like the cap full capabilities of what it could yeah. do, right? Yeah, I was I just I had a board full of logos creatures that couldn't die. Confage was like a sixty eight for a while. Conf Confage was under seventy. Yeah, I think when Nathan first got it, it was like sixty seven or sixty eight. Yeah, just because uh, hab uh AOA is habitually underrated. I know we're di we're kind of jumping around topics, but <laughs> yeah, the um so. Uh, well, Light Texture wasn't it. It, it, it lost tournament. to uh, it lost in the very finals to Andres. Yeah, because of gambling den. Yep. Because it turns out Light Tasker is really good at stopping the opponent from forging keys, but gambling den is real good at letting you forge a key, um, even if you were like under a certain threshold. So it's, it's good in furnace proofing. It's yeah. good like TMTP protection. Yeah. So you can stay under that threshold where Light Tasker really punishes you. You just hit the gambling den and forge, and uh, it ends up being way better for Andras in that matchup. And uh, it's, it can't get snack lifted. So yeah, it's the finals. Yep, it was it, good. yeah, it's still on YouTube. Um, the uh, they got its revenge right in the fight night against Andras. I believe so. Yeah, yeah. In a, in a two out of three. I think you were better with Light Tusker, but I, I so. was very much more practiced with Light Tusker. Yeah, for sure. They can get the five hundred thousand for EU seventy five hundred or seven hundred fifty thousand might not be as feasible. Yeah, I think it's. So I know it was big in Thailand. I know it was pretty big in China and Japan so as well. So you wonder if if it gets close to that, do that do then the Asian uh, does the market in Asia like then look at the game con and say hey we can get to this goal yeah and, uh, get the I don't know how big uh, it was like, popular in Korea right I, I don't know how big um, in Chinese tournaments in Vietnam people. yeah. Big scene in Vietnam, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it was not it was not a small game in the Asian markets, right? I don't think so. All right, so... What are you growling at? What? What? 96. Okay, I can easily best that. 46, okay. Well, I'm gonna try. All right, Chip, let's go. Let's go. This is... Dude, I'm, my Bad my level. opening hands have been insane. Damn it. Kiri and Vietnam have big news. Yeah, I'm... Yeah. If, if a wide release was more feasible, aka if they had printed in China and Germany instead of the United States, um, 
I think you'd have you'd have those a lot more people jumping on the campaign right now. Um, now, I was gonna say the uh, um, AFK and the Italian communities are both huge. Yeah, yeah. Like there's uh, um, due to the language barrier, I think we we have less overlap with them, but. Whenever AFK streams, they, they pull pretty good numbers. All right. I am first. Yes. I, me? You. Oh, I'll play this Twin Bolt. Okay. I'm Targeting gonna... nothing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say Saurians. I'm going to discard this Axiom, and then I'm going to play Prefectus Luda, High Priest Horvus, Theros, and Tyrion. What? That's Excuse right. me? You're gonna have to run that by me again. That's I'll right. say this. I am gonna gone goozle a Ludo. Hey, that's my Ludo. Two out of three followers, yeah. Hold well, paid membership structure. Oh yeah, look at that. Well we I don't know, I'm not paid familiar membership with it. structure. You guys paid a sub to us, so. I'll get the guilty hearts, okay. I will hysteria. Excuse me. Pick them up. Your turn. I am going to say Saurian. I'm going to play Hedonistic Intent. And then I'm going to play those dinosaurs again. Uh, Theros Centurion is going to capture one. Okay. I'm going to say... And I'll draw two. Go ahead. Say Brobnar. I'm going to play Bumpsy and make you lose one. I'm going to Anger and have Bumpsy fight the High Priest Torvus. And then I'm going to Relentless Assault and have Bumpsy fight a Ludo. And then I'm going to punch a Ludo. I'm done. I'm going to say this and play two Brabbles. And it's your turn. I'll draw it to you. I'll say this. I will... Fear Thero Centurion. I will play Toxin and I'll discard this Arise. Your turn. All right, I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to Mighty Alliance the Toxin. I'm going to play Radiant Truth. I'm going to play Gizzleheart. Play Grey Rider. There's nothing to fight, so Gizzleheart will ready and be ready. And then I'm going to play Zalvador and I'll capture onto a Rabble. And then Mad Prophet Gizzleheart is going to action, fully heal each non mutant, and then gain one error for each one. He's not a mill. Oh, I'm Jake King. I'm Jake King. Uh, I'll reap with him. Sorry. I saw three and three. My bad. It's your turn. Draw. I'll say this. I'll play Hysteria. Excuse me? A hysteria. I'll play Lash of Broken Dreams. Your turn. Excuse me? Could you stop putting all the creatures in there? <laughs> well, now I can. As I've played both my Hysterias. Just, yeah, it you was already grabbed an amber for the heal. Oh, so this is the other more amber they're supposed to have. Did you, did you reap and also get an amber for the healing? Okay. Okay. How many times? How many times do I have to say J King? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Gonna say this. I'm gonna play two brabbles, and then I'm gonna ritual Tognath. We're talking. You're you're a VIP now. <laughs> I'm above these brabbles, lose amber. Okay. And play essence scale. And I'm gonna play infernus. Stop. I'm getting infernus. I got I got all the infernus decks tonight. I meant to. I, I haven't been cleaning up our VIP uh, listing because it's. I think I said it like two and a half years ago. So it, it, a lot of people that watch our stream during like Coda or VIPs and they haven't watched our stream it since says, then. Yeah. Yeah. So I need I need to like uh, go through how this. important could they be? Really? They didn't stick with it. So they check with six. Your turn. Okay. 
Villagos, I will play Harland's Mindlock. Excuse me. It's hitting. Mine now. I will play Mother Valent Analyst Lab Work Archive A Card. I'm done. Alright, so I do forge. Oh yeah. Seven. <laughs> Uh, I mean, mean like uh, it, it, they probably just. So there are a lot of people who played Coda and got soured on the library access bait and switch errata. Like I think there's a there. I think it was probably double, double digit percentage of players at the time who saw the errata and were like, "I thought this game was different, right?" <laughs> um, and so yeah, uh, who knows, right? Like, um, okay. Mm. Yeah, and AOA just had no chance against most coded decks, right? Yeah. But then, if you stuck with it, you found out that AOA actually has great matchups against Worlds Collide. Well, AOA is also a great sealed play. And it's great sealed play, yeah. Once you get past... Once you learn the set, right? AOA... If you go into AOA sealed from just playing like some random coda scrum games... AOA probably feels like dog shit to you. Because a lot of the cards... There's so much like slowing the game down and stuff like that yeah. but it's like once you once you know aoa for sealed it ends up being a really fun sealed experience AOA yeah, is in general has been good against most future sets after it yeah it's a, it, it has aged very well and coda has aged a little bit poorly more so than aoa has yeah um all right going to say logos Gonna play Mad Prophet Gizzleheart. Gonna have Grey Rider uh, have the Gizzleheart crush into the Valent Analyst. Gonna play Zalvador. I'll capture on. It was great for adventures too. Yeah, like all those Brodnar guys just beating up on Key Rackins and uh, such. I'll play Bring Glow. And it is your turn. I will draw three. By the way, we're probably gonna do an adventure tomorrow. Yes, most likely. Keyforge Hype Week. Uh, I will say Brodnar. I'll pick up the archive. I will put Blood of the Titans on my Harlan Mindlock. <laughs> then I will play Earthshaker and destroy the, the Grey Rider uh, after playing Blood Money on it. Okay. You're not allowed to play Blood Money after. I know you are. You have you played all the Blood I, Monies that I've were allowed got, to play. I've right. got Blood Money copyrighted. Uh, I'm gonna play Take That Smarty Pants. Nope, no logos here. And then I'm going to play Smash and Stun the Mad Prophet. And then Fire Spare. I'm done. All right, going to see Brobnar. Going to play Prefectus Ludo. Yeah, three-person adventure storm. We're going to we're gonna show Lowy how to play Keyforge. Uh, going to play Theros and Tyrion. He's played like one or two times, but not in years, actually. Going to play Gladiadontus. Going to play Chant of Hubris. I'm going to move this on to Dear Mother. And it is your turn. I will draw for. All right. I'll say Logos. Okay. Say Logos. I'm going to have Harlan fight Perfectus Ludo. Bang. So strong. How's Logan allowed on stream if he doesn't play Keyforge? He's about to. He's about to learn. He's about to learn. Well, Keyforge was a dead game for a while. I'm a success. Play a chainmail with that absolute blast. Nice. I am gonna play Keo. I'm gonna play Brain Eater. I will reap with the mother. I will remote access the essence scale to destroy Smash to have Earthshaker fight the Thero Centurion. Get that. And then I will experimental therapy the Brain Eater. I am done. I'm done. Great turn, Chip. I have three cards, draw four. 
Pick the six. All right, I'm gonna say Sanctum. I'm gonna unstun Mad Prophet. Salvador is gonna fight Mother, and then I am going to smite Mad Prophet into Mother. Blow a hole in that battle line. Get back my Infernus. Actually, I can choose which side this goes to, right? Yeah, let's go right there. Play Gorm of Om, and then I'm gonna bring Glow. Capture onto the Gladiodontus. He's big. And it is your turn. I will draw three. Uh, I'll see. Logos. Mm. That's done. I'm gonna have sloppy lab work. So I will archive. And discard. Hold here. Uh, Keo. Take out Zalvador. I'll fight Zalvor. Draw. And up. All right. I am going to say this. I am going to Gormavam, Lashbrook Dreams. I am going to play Dino Fiend. And I will not. Exalt under any circumstances. Uh, I am going to play Infernus. You get literally every Infernus deck tonight. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I am going to put Soul Keeper on Dino Fiend. I will capture onto the Gladiodontus. I don't see him uh, dying anytime soon. I'm going to have Infernus Reap. Does that deck have uh, Interventional Graph? No. Uh, no. Okay. Um, I am going to Essence Scale. I'll blow up the Dino Fiend and steal one. Um, and have an Furnace Fight Kyo. I'll say check with seven, and it's your turn. I will draw three. Play a Hervescent Principle. Oh, okay. I'm done. I am going to say this. I'm going to read with the two Inferni. I am going to play Obsidian Forge. And then I'm going to play Grim Reminder. I want you Saurian. I'm going to stuff my archives full of dinosaurs. Lovely. This is... No, that's stupid. I'm saying this. Uh, I'm actually gonna essence scale before I play this. I'll kill this Infernus to ready and read with that other Infernus. And then I'm gonna say Grim Reminder for Dis. And I'm gonna put Infernus, Dino Fiend, and two Bravels into my archive. That's like way more Amber Control. That's way better. Top four advances from each pod, yep. It's the stinky, smelly Saurians. 
Uh, I have a chain, so I only dropped a five. I'll say check with eight, and it is your turn. Play this. Play Dominator Bob with this card Key Hammer. Play Dustin. Play Succubus. Uh, do I play Arise? Get a rise for one toxin. I get a rise for a bunch of Brobnar guys that don't do anything. Um, or a bunch of Logos guys that don't do anything, so I'll just discard the rise. I am done. The thing about Infernus is it, I feel like it just beats Coda decks, right? Yo, absolutely. It like, completely trashed. That's that's why I won the Vault Tour. I mean, like, yeah. I was trashing up on very good Coda decks. Yeah. You're like, I'll I'll play Dust Pixie and I'll play this other thing. And you're like, okay, well, great. all that. Well, it's like I'll fight it with uh, Snag, right? Yeah. And then so, and then I'll purge it. <laughs> and you're, they're just like, excuse me? Uh, what? I'm oh, sorry, what? I lose my turn and I lose two Amber. Yeah. At least two Amber. All right, going to say, uh, so I'll Forge. I'm going to say this. And I'll put my archives into my hand. I am going to play. Do I have enough? This is not quite enough to win right there. To win on the spot. I'll play Cinder. I'll play Infernus. And I'll purge some garbage. Some old garbage. Yeah, Time Traveler really hates Infernus. It's upsetting. Is axing him. Like, I don't know. Salvador, sure. Why not? Two capture accounts. Uh, the announcement of the announcement is watch our stream next week. Yes. <laughs> you should watch our stream on the following Sunday. Uh, at the beginning of the stream. Pay very close attention at the beginning of the stream next week. I am going to play Bravel. I'm going to play Bravel. I'm going to play Dino Fiend. I am going to Reap with Infernus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if I essence scale to blow up Dino Fiend to reap with Infernus and steal one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, well, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. I can see it for it. Boom. Good, good. I'm taking my turn. With my two, two, two hand. I feel like a lot of Slade Twins comes from Obsidian it's, Forge. It's one that, last that time with it, I think. Too. Yeah, that that one just put like put you out of your misery. Yeah. Um. But. Oh yeah. Now he's he forged. He's about to pray out a little bit. Oh yeah. Well, the start of that turn, right? Yeah. I forged. I did not get any keys. Judge. Next game. Crab Deep versus Wizzle. Crab Deep. Wizzle? Wizzle. 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 Who will win? The bet is up. You may bet now. Oh, the two market this. Now, I think uh, Crab Deep's probably. Slightly less susceptible to market death. Yeah, we got like a lot of one and two power creatures in this deck. Um, this is the deck that can. Yeah. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. We played Crab Rave at the start of the stream. Yeah, don't hear it. Start it. You hear it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we're 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 crowd pleasers here. Play Iron Obelisk, and I'll tell you to go ahead. I'll draw. Crab Rave is over. <laughs> no more crabs. All right. I'll say Logos. I'll play it. it's too, you're too late, Fudge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play. It's coming. Oh no. Look at the top half of Ultra Gravitron. <laughs> we got a... <laughs> Just as easily as we gave Crab Rave. We took it away. Just like that. Oh god, he's so good at it. He's so good at it. Mark out the top five. 
I am done. Uh, okay, I'll say untamed. I'll discard key charge. I'll discard 10 Tadlin because I don't want to get uh, Mark of Dist into it. And then I'm going to play two there everywheres, which will do one damage to Grout for Tron. And it's your turn. I'll draw four. <sighs> Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, no. What are you doing? Dropping cards. You're seeing what's long inside tell you're long the new cuts out, but you don't stop anyone here to chat. It's like that, but with crab emotes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yellow lead better by uh Pearl Jam. Oh, here they are. And I say <laughs> on a whole down the head. Oh, we are on a way. Yeah. <laughs> and I go and I there. I'm gonna say Sanctum, pick up the archive. Oh, 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 I'm play Font of the Eye. I'm gonna play Baldric, Angry Mob, Scrivener, Fabian, Angry Mob, Skizzleheart, Zealot. Who is mad? And I'll be Oh god, I'm a the okay, kid. My turn. All right, this I think this is the exact type of board that Crap Deep does not want to see. Uh, I'm gonna say Brobnar. I'm gonna play these Brobnarians. Who are dead? I mean, Branlo does get some damage in at least. Oh, on the porch, they don't wave. I'll draw. Good. I see them <laughs> round the front way. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out I do know all the words of that song. <laughs> um, thanks to Rock Band. I don't think that song's on Rock Band, but I wish it was. There was a. They did the. They did the whole ten album on one of the. Is that on ten? That's on ten. Yellow Lead better. I don't think it's on 10. You don't think it's on 10? Are we going to have to look it up? Yeah. Are we going to have to look it up? I don't think it's on I 10. I think they did all of 10. This is, this is where two, this is where two millennials it. argue about which <laughs> Pearl Jam album Yellow Ledbetter was on. The best Pearl Jam song is Elderly Lady Behind the Counter of the Convenience Store. Yeah, that, that, that song is really good. That's the best That song, song is, is very good. Okay. I'm going to say... Oh, it was selected to be... On the B side of the Jeremy single. Weird, but it's on the album. Um, it was an outtake from 10. An outtake? It was an outtake from 10, and so they added it to the single back when you bought singles. Who remembers, um, who remembers singles? I don't yeah. know. I don't think anybody does. All right, I'm going to say the logo. I, singles were like, like, we were too young to buy singles, right? Yeah. So. I'm going to play Lithologica. For cyber clone. Okay. I'm gonna discard diametric charge to archive the top card. Ooh. Ooh. You were hoping to purge something? Or? I was hoping that I wouldn't care about that card. Oh. <laughs> so that I could then use Ultra Gravitron. Yeah, but they sold singles. You you would buy they were they would be um like mini records it wasn't like the full album but they'd be like a mini record and they have like they'd add like one or two tracks to it right so you could buy like the single on a, like on a tiny a little record yeah on an album tiny little baby record this is the music industry showing how completely bankrupt of ideas they had they wanted to sell you less stuff than an album worth of songs i'm gonna discard cyberclone okay i'm gonna fight The cow. Theme from Shaft on single. By the cow. Discard champion from archive to purge cult. And I am done. I am going to say Shadows. I'm going to play TMTP. We are. We are an above 30 Twitch chat. <laughs> yeah, 45, yeah. We are exactly. older than the year. <laughs> we were born before 1990. I am going to play Dust Chronicles and archive a card. And then I'm going to play another Dust Chronicles and I'm going to archive another card. 
And it's your turn. I'm gonna draw. Not true, Storm. You're you're born after 1990. Wow. Or were you born on 1990? The day of 1990. <laughs> wow. There you no, go. Look at that. All right. I'll say I'll say this. I'll pick up the archive. I'm gonna mark a disc right now. Yeah. Um, Scrivener's still alive, so I'll steal one. Yeah. I'll play Dominator Bobble and steal one. Yeah. I will. Lethal Mayhem. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. I will play. No. Play Dork Minion and Drecker and Wrath. This bug keeps flying in my face. <sighs> Little gnat. Yeah. It's pretty annoying. Um, well, 1998. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. I'm going to discard Desire and Archive. 1990. Oh, my God. I'm going to Font of the Eye and Capture. Onto this angry mob. My turn. Yes. I am gonna see Brobnar. I'm gonna play War Chest, and I'm gonna pound the angry mob. And it is your turn. I'll draw. Forge. Uh, I don't remember. No? Huh? I don't know Justin's September? Birthday. Yeah. That's my birthday. How'd you know that? Why do you know Probably, that? It's, it's near Encyclopedia Knowledge. Stop. Um, There's only one birth... Well, I, know two, I, I remember two birthdays, and then I... I'll, most of the time, it's birth... I have, like, a gut feeling of birthdays for friends. You, you feel the birthday coming? Yeah. Yeah. I would wait for everybody else to say, hey, I was going to tell you happy birthday on Facebook, but that was, like, a 10 years ago thing. Street so. docks, yeah. What's the that would be that'd be next Tuesday, Tuesday stream? No, no, there's no Tuesday stream. Damn. I can't farm birthday subs. Mm, no. Unfortunate. Alright, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna play Obsidian Forge. Oh god. I'm gonna play Endrecker. Envy. Discard mark of this. Reap with Drecker. Deal one. Reap with Wrath. Use Dominator Bobble. Set in the TTR 2021 championship. Well, okay. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. Is that actually true? I'll Reap with Scrivener with the Dominator Bobble. And I'm done. Did you steal? Yeah, with Drecker. Did you steal another one? Mm -mm. Did you steal it with Scrivener? Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. Why do you think I did? I'm JK. Okay. Um, man, I uh, kind of wish this game was already over. I am going to see Shadow. You watch them in Slow Nights and Work. Oh, nice. Well, there you go. I, I, I guess I'm say Untamed. I'll put my archives in my hand. I'll discard Shoda. I'm going to Nature's Call. I'll balance the two Drekkers and Bob Baldrick. Uh, I'll discard a dust switch. I'll play a dust switch, and it's your turn. I'll draw two. Go ahead. Oh god! This, this is what no logos does to the MF right here, man. You just win with the Obsidian Forge. Mm -mm. Not this turn, at least. Um, I'll say logos. TTR reruns your comfy watch. Really. Oh, well, that's Actually, not, I, I consider that high praise. Yeah, that's cool. Consider that high praise. I'll say, yeah, I'll say Logos. I'll play Odd Claude and Novu Dynamo and Bot Booked and, and Titan Engineer. Yeah, I can't kill enough of these idiots. And for... Reap with Ultra Gravitron. Discarding the Seeker of Truth to Purge Dusk Witch. And up.
I'll say you shadows. I'll play Lamindra and Selwyn, and I'm gonna rot Odd Claude's bones. I'm just in touch with this deck. I, I... And it's your turn. I'll draw. I figured out the sauce. Yeah, I I can't do anything with him. Please, please, please vanquish me. I think you can win. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten reap, low. reap, and then the drakers. drakers. Yeah, yeah. So play drakers. Reap, reap, Obsidian Forge. Yeah. Two Obsidian Forge wins tonight. Well, I don't. I mean, Obsidian Forge has been popping off this whole tournament. Yeah, right? and I don't think Obsidian Forge was. Uh... <laughs> we had new copy pasta drop, by the way. Uh, <laughs> that one, that's not a public copy pasta, but that's fine. Oh, is he making that it person's not? Uh, that person's not watching our Keyforge videos, probably. Uh, you like, uh, yeah, I don't think, I do not believe that. You like how vocal we are about our moves that allows me to follow along with me individually. Yeah, that's, I try to keep in mind, because, like, a lot of people will watch, um, when we're playing, a lot, like, while doing something else, they'll be watching the stream, right? So, yeah, I always feel bad when somebody new shows up, because we're typically, I mean, sometimes I'll go into the tank, yes, but Justin and I play faster than, I think, the average Keyforge player does, who doesn't have reps, right? So... Uh, I always feel bad whenever like a new player shows up and is like, oh, I can't, I can't follow what's going on. Yeah, it's, it's like just, we can just if we slow down enough to like explain literally every card, um, it's, like the the reps that we have at this point. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, it would be it would be too much. But uh, Team Coven has a thing where when they say the name of a card, a picture pops up on the screen, and that's like software they have. And I wish that we could like, yeah, have yeah, that I'd software. love to do that. Yeah, because I'm very jealous of it. But I think they they built it themselves. So right. So, all right, I won a game of Keyforge. It played so long, and I forgot what the cards do. Our boy, come on, you gotta get back to it. <laughs> you guys play F and slow. You watch that one point five times. That's that's probably pretty good. Not playing card with Pip turn two when the opponent has a steal on board was a good one from Nathan. Oh yeah, TC was a literal employee till very. Yeah, I knew that there someone was just like doing that for them. Um, but they actually they actually programmed it now. Stormstrong, like they have a they have a thing that does it. You also bump it up to one point five level. Uh, that's fair. There's I mean, an amount of too, yeah. there's an amount of like chat banter or whatever. Right? Also, that, it's like it's two hours. I mean, yeah. Uh, anything anything I watch on YouTube or podcast, I always do one point five, which is like I like to hear. I process uh, better actually when I'm listening faster. Like when, when I watch training videos at work, I, I bump them to two times because I, I can focus better for some reason. Like I get bored if it's too slow. Uh, yeah. I have ADHD. <laughs> is he named Bryce who defined the cards for them in the fly? Now it's computer voice recognition software. Give me the software. Next game. Master Egg Hunt. Master Egg Hunt is dominating this bracket, by the way. Absolutely dominating. Versus the Shree. Is How many the the keys do you have? I had uh, none. 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 Crab Deep. Exactly Dang. none. I feel like they can monitor. I, I asked them if they would. Um, they would license it to me, but they said they didn't really have a way to do that because it's like a combination of a bunch of oh, it's the Kixel Stone different deck. softwares working together. Egg Hunt is the Kixel Stone deck, yeah. where we just stop playing. You, just, you just don't play Kixel Stone, yeah. You were doing a championship match for a deck of ours in the G1. Yeah, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Filthy computer stealing work of good people. <laughs> Automated out of the job. Who's the current champion? The Venus. Venus. Ignis Shop. Yeah. 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 Decks of the furnace, I think, are decent against Venus, but Venus also has a lot of key cheats. Yeah. So it's like Venus like can sandbag, can sandbag the total then key cheat, um, and so we don't. For some reason, we don't have a command called exclamation mark champ. For some reason, Stormstrong, if you want to fix that for us, <laughs> you're more than welcome to. Get your bets out. Weird. <laughs> Beaver Lady is literally built to fight Mass Mutation, so it would be a good match. Oh, okay. Yeah, actually, it might be because it's a lot of creatures, right? And I think Ignachop can struggle against big boards. Exclamation mark champ command that links the deck for the current champion. The current champion is Venus Ignachop. So you can say that in the command. It's Venus Ignachop and a bunch of other stuff, right? There's a bunch of other name to Venus Signature right? Venus Signature and something. something. I, don't <laughs> I, don't remember remember. I don't remember the surname. But just like link the page for it. 
Beans into artifacts. Oh, does it destroy artifacts too? And uh, beefy lady? I can't remember. Because if you start blowing up its like Amber Vault and stuff, then yeah, it's sad. It's very sad about it. Double borrow. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait till after the tournament's over though, because we'll see. I want to see how beefy lady does from the engineer's haunt. And then we can start doing like we can start doing fight nights I, up until. Is that the right deck? Uh yeah, that's it. This it's that's the one. Oh yeah, is it ninety one sass? Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. one. Uh, but I, figured, I saw a 68 Eric. I was like, there's no way it's 68. I thought it was like higher. So. We can um, we can do fight nights like leading up to the release of yeah. Woe. The end of our woes. Woe upon us. 63. Mm. Easily defeated. 40. Hmm. Done first. Okay. Uh, the shadows. This is the the shadows is really annoying in that deck. Okay. More think, furnaces. I think I have mulligan this hand. I think I'm mulligan this. Hand. I don't think it was a bad hand, but I think I'm mulligan. Need to cheer your name for the next key four set after a woe. Dark tidings and whoa yeah. well there's probably the it's probably the uh dark times was a bit too dark for us the ffg employees warning us <laughs> yeah they were the subtle saying yeah this company is not going to support this game anymore. <laughs> that was probably just a coded message for the people working on the game This will get stuck in a ship and so we're also, yeah, it did. Dark Times was stuck at sea for so long. Alright, I will play Eclectic Inquiry. Your turn. Gonna see Starlines, I'm gonna discard the Zaxos Deny, I'll play Hayden Oswin, I'll play Mutagenesis Researcher, and then capture on here. And then Code Red. What is up? Uh, Kixel Stone, which I will also discard got 39 months thank you so much code red draw four say logos i'm gonna diametric charge then i'm gonna play bot booked and i'm gonna dino bot i'm gonna go ahead and shoot it okay your turn I am going to say Logos and play Lethal Logica. I think the game was exchanged to Ghost Galaxy. Yeah. Oh my god. Jeez. Cubex, huh? Like, wow. Man, I could have. I, <laughs> I am willing to bet I needed those board wipes. Yeah, and Inferno. Uh, I'll play Cubex and draw. I'm gonna play Demobot and even Ivan, and I'll pitch for Vessens. And it's your turn. I will draw all three. Okay, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna play Lyco Fiend. I am gonna implosion the Lyco Fiend and the even Ivan. Steal one. I am going to pain reaction the Q max. Do two damage to the Dinobot. Or what is this? Demo. Demobot. Uh, I have another implosion. It lets me steal one. Let's steal one. It kills one of my cool creatures. So I'm going to discard it. Uh, and then I'm done. I'm finding this this has prompted the most financial discussions about the game. A lot of people talking about the business behind the scenes these days. There's a lot of interesting. Uh, um, uh, Peterson doesn't seem to be scared to be open about that thing. About, yeah, he's, yeah, he's talked about a lot of the the inner workings okay. of how they're handling things. And, and honestly, which is great. To Asthma know. Day plays all that shit close to the vest, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, Peterson being up front, basically saying like, if all the cooperative stuff sold out. 
and the Kickstarter does okay, we may go in a different direction and it's basically saying we just might make the game cooperative only, right? Like, we may just focus on cooperative stuff. I mean, you at least, like, could, dedicate resources to yeah, it. Yeah, it would be, like, supported that way, yeah. right? Um, you know. Uh, that they might not otherwise have done. Yeah. So... But that was the entire purpose of the crowdfunding in general, right? Is just like see how much interest there is in the game, yeah. see what people want to buy with it. Uh, I am going to say this. I'm going to whale of the danged my demo bot uh, and steal one, um, so that I can play Bone Saw. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about like traditional keyboard going away or anything. Uh, I'm going to play Brabble. I'm going to play Infernus. It's probably some goodies over here. That's a goodie. Uh, mm, this, like, I'm, uh, well, well, that, that one's a goodie too. So let's get rid of that. And then Bonesaw, I think, takes out Bot Bookton before any absurdness happens there. And it's your turn. I'll draw four. I'll say shadows. I'm gonna play fidget. So capture and damage. I'll play bone eyeing. I'll play game G. Your turn. All right. I am gonna say logos. I'm gonna play mutagenic serum and draw. I'm gonna play eclectic inquiry. And draw and then archive to you. And then I'm going to play Eclectic Inquiry and Archive to you. Wonderful. Wait, it was the Qmex was it purged? It's just in my archive, right? Yeah. Oh, it's in my hand then because I didn't have anything in the archive to start there. So I'll play Qmex and draw. It wasn't purged, right? No. I had it. it was, I had it. I was used to the last game. I made a reaction to it. I was used to the last game with. Uh, I purged a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then draw. With the giant robot. I remember that game fondly. <laughs> and that's my turn. Go ahead. Okay. I will say Logos. I'm going to play Forge Compiler. Play Lithologica. EP. Classic. There's got a lot of discarded EPs this game, I, I think. I don't even think it's worth playing that. Um, I'm going to reap with Dinobot. Discard this Mute Cut person, draw. I'm going to discard EP. going to play the Howling Pit. And I'm done. Ooh, boy. Yeah, yeah. I know. What we got under here? I know. I think all that stuff stays right there for now. I am going to say Star Alliance. I'm going to play Garcia. I'm going to do my best to make her unkillable. I'm going to give her a Stelster and then two Blast Shieldings. She's, she's turtling up. I'm going to draw six. What am I? I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Uh, and then I've got an Explorer Rover, which I think I just play as a creature because I think I may need it to fight. Um, and it's your turn. I draw six because of the pit, right? Um, Five, and then shuffle and draw one. Are you chained? I'm not chained. Oh, you draw six cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God, I drop stuff. Come on, man. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, God, I gotta, I gotta get the cards off the ground. Okay. Come on. Professionals. I'll say... I'll say this. Let's okay. One shuffle. I'm gonna play Mindfire. Yeah. I'll never be ready. I'll never be ready. What a... What a good card Mindfire is. It's great. I like the design of Mindfire. We announced that you should watch our stream. <coughs> you should watch our next stream. Next Sunday. Our next Keyforge stream. Live at 7.30 Sorry. Eastern. You should watch next Sunday's stream. Yep. Live at 7.30 Eastern. You should be there at the start of the stream, just because I think you'll be interested. <coughs> um, okay. 
I've made my hand almost mine fireproof. Tomorrow we're gonna do a co-op thing. We're gonna do Keyforge co-op with Logan. Do a uh, key rack. <coughs> Probably with some new Dark Tanks decks. <laughs> okay. Snudge. Uh, I'm gonna say play Inspector, play Bone Saw, play Pandemonium. Capture all this. So the the he already had one on him, right? Yeah, here we go. I had one. And I'm gonna try the other adventure soon as well. Uh, if it depends on how tomorrow goes. Like if if Logan's like, ah, I love this game. It's great. Yeah, uh, then we'll probably do the other one. As well, we have we have never yeah. actually done abyssal conspiracy, so uh, and we have the, we also have the master modes like the hard yeah, modes, right? Yeah. Now. So we haven't actually ever tried those either. Zope, gifting a sub, gift the sub to our boy. Thank you so much, Zope. <laughs> Chris Pearson will not. No, no. I just I, outside of outside of Zach and Logan, unless Chris Pearson comes to our house, <laughs> yeah. um, uh, we're not really set up to like get other people onto the stream. Bring so. some broken crap for that. We're just gonna do random decks. That's the most fun. New, open some new decks. He's moving <laughs> in. He's moving on in. Uh, okay, gonna say logos. <laughs> um, I am going to play Kronos and info more for the draw icon. So I'll draw and then archive. Um, archive like this. Uh, play this eclectic inquiry. I think this is why this deck does. It's, it, it digs because it it like you just like lap the opponent yeah. in cards. Um, okay, so I draw and then I get to archive. Um, yeah, looks like an archive to me. Uh, and then I archive the top two. Incredible. Okay. Um, I'm gonna play Odd Claude, and then I'm gonna Cyber Clone, I guess. Did I, like, Cyber Clone the Imp Spectre? Because this is one of those games that may just go that long. And I, like, may not want a key card purged. <sighs> you have not said Shadows yet, though. Maybe I get Fidget? Because you could, like... Hit some something sick with fidget. I think I get fidget. As weird as it may sound. Um, my fun. Uh, okay, that's my turn. I've got five cards in hand. Drop to seven with the pit. Go ahead. Hmm. Cyberclone got fidget. That imp or bow. Yeah. But bow would not have been a bad choice either. Like um, Cronus. I think you want like you want like a powerful thing to do with those icons, right? I think Cronus is fine, right? I, Cronus obviously scales really, really insane um if you've got specific other cards in your deck. I'm gonna say shadows. I'm gonna fight Brabble. So okay. you get that. I lose this. You get that. I get this. I'm gonna reap with Gamgee. Okay. I'm gonna steal one now. Okay. And then I'm gonna dark wave. Okay. So the Qmex dies. Garcia is fine. Explorer Rover dies. takes two. Gamgee dies. These these are all mutants. We got a whole lot of muties over here. And Inspector's Persian. So Cronus is not in the next set, right? Purge the gateway. It looked a lot better until you dark waved. I will play Red Penny and Ping Explorer over.
Play old Bruno. Play Boss Zarek. I'll play Bo. And uh, No, it's not to say that couldn't happen. Um, uh, it can't pull in any of borrows and currents. Ah, oh, yeah, fair enough. You just have to discard it, right? Like you, just, you obviously cannot give your opponent stolen trinket. Uh, all right, gonna say this. This is actually, a, or is this a decent oil like, logos? Is it the disciplined play to say a logos instead? This match is intense already. Intense. Mm. If you hadn't purged the gateway, yeah, if, you just, if you just use the serum, the serum, you use all your stuff. You use all those cool logos. I'd, I'd snap. Um, yeah, so the thing is, is I, I archived randomly a bunch of logos cards off the Eclectic Inquiry. Um, if, if I had the gateway, I'd serum, use this stuff, gateway, the whole board away. Um, still think it's this because I think uh, it's I'm gonna I will pop the mutagenic serum trying to get rid of your glare and also oh. put you in frame no I refuse to be you can't put me in a box uh, so my mutants can be used this turn um, Odd Claude is going to steal one. And then I am going to play uh, Cronus is going to fight Old Bruno, and then Infernus is going to fight Old Bruno. I am going to play Infernus and uh, gonna take it old. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a second Infernus after the first one's done. You know, my. I think all of these just go on by. Let's get rid of all that. Let's get rid of all that right there. Uh, I'm going to play True Baru over here. I'll blow up three Amber. I'll draw a card. Um, and then I'll archive a card with Cronus. I'm going to play Bonesaw, who's going to be ready because I had Infernus explode. And then I'll play a Cinder over here to double protect Chief Garcia from... Um, Okay, uh, Bone Saw is gonna fight Dinobot. It is elusive. Oh, you're right, Boss Eric. Well, then Invomorph is gonna fight Boss Eric, and then Bone Saw is gonna fight Dino uh, Dinobot, and then Cyber Clone is going to reap. And I'll tell you again. And then I'll draw six. Okay, I'll say logos. And I will 
Turn out testing. I think it's sevens and ones. Uh, okay. So it's sensor chief as well, right? Sensor chief has got oh plus two armor plus two armor. Uh, I'm not gonna do this then. Okay. I'm discarding that. I'm gonna play Bob Bookton. I'm gonna play Lethologica. Doing a damage. To Infomorph. Yeah. Play Damobot. And I am done. All right, I am going to say this. I am going to whale about Lipton. I'm going to discard Gateway. I'll play this Bone Saw who's not ready. Actually, I can ready him with the Cinder. Yeah, all I gotta do is just use Cinder first. Uh, I'll reap with Cinder. I'll blow up the Cyber Clone. Then I'll play Bone Saw. I'll capture onto True Baru. Um. I'll have this Infernus fight your bone saw. I'll reap with true Baru. I don't want to kill your creatures, so I'll reap with Infernus and Bone Saw. And I'll tell you to go ahead. I will draw three. Okay. I'm gonna say this when pick the archive. We're gonna gleeful mayhem. Shadows, Star Alliance. This. Logos. <laughs> this thing is way better when it doesn't have Kexel Stamming play. Yeah, you don't ever, ever, ever <laughs> want to play. I'm going to play Sinestra. I'm going to play Waking Nightmare. Okay. And so it's for every disc creature? Yeah, for every for each disc creature in play. Okay. So plus, plus four. four. Okay. I'm gonna discard this break key. Okay. And then I am done. Alright, I'll forge for ten. I'll draw one. Two. How dare you. Yeah. How dare you. Uh, oh, yeah, Forge Compiler. Sinestra is left flank. Left flank. My left flank. So I play over there. Okay. Is that the play this way? Every time break key is play. Every time. How about every time break key actually breaks a key? <laughs> then we have to play break key. All right. I'm gonna put my archives in my hand and say uh, Star Alliance. I am going to access deny the demo bot. I'll discard Kixel Stone. Actually, I shouldn't discard this yet. I should play Mutagenesis Researcher. So I'll shuffle and draw. I'll capture onto Infernus. Oh, we were all giggling. We had the, we had the extreme giggles during Break Key. It was great. It was yeah. so fun. Break Break Key, like. 
it was a it's a highlight of this year in my opinion. Yeah, it was good. They actually had a whole lot of highlights of this year. Looking back on it, in my opinion. Um, okay, so I'll draw then archive. I'll archive this. Now I'll discard Kixel Stone. Then I'm going to play Hayden. Uh, I'll play this Explorer Rover as an attachment on Hayden, and I'll use the damage pip to shoot Sinestra. And I'll play away team. I'll play Anthony and capture all that. And then Garcia is gonna reap. And it is your turn. Okay, I draw one. Uh, all right, I'll say <laughs> logos. I think the diamond charge there. I think this deck could generate a board state in which that deck never forges a key, and then I purge all of your cards. I honestly believe. Yeah. I the problem with that deck is like either the creatures are must remove, or they you can't remove. Like like Shrubber, I don't want to touch Shrubber. I don't want to touch Infernus. I really don't even want to touch like the the Infomore Piad because that's a draw pip, you know? It's like all your all your middling creatures have something going for them. Yeah. And then you have like Garcia and you have Cronus and you have uh Antony and so uh, it's like the odd claw, odd claw even yeah. and just yeah. Uh I'm gonna play Dinobot and I will exalt to shoot. I, I played it, Cronus. I played Kixelstone and I lost the game. Yep, yep. That is a fact. That is how that is how this deck lost. Yeah, I think it was the first game we played. We played Kixelstone because we played Kixelstone in the mat in the 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 demo match, right? Because we we played this deck randomly, we randomly selected it. We played Kixelstone. The, the game lost. It was like a really close game, and it lost. And I was like, huh? No fight. Wait. There. Uh, it just takes three, right? It's a three. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna play it there. Okay. I am done. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna discard the ZP. Okay. I'm done. All right. I am going to say Logos. I am going to play Lethal Logica. Yeah, no damage on OAT. Here's the whole game with spent going. I shouldn't have played. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. For the Infomorph. Gonna play Infomorph and draw. It, uh, okay. I'm gonna Eclectic Inquiry and draw and then Archive 2. I'm glad I killed that stupid, stupid thing. Cronus. That dumb idiot. Yeah. That may be one of the best Cronus decks I've ever seen, too. I'll play Mutagenic Serum and draw. I'm really glad I killed that Cronus. I'll play Eclectic Inquiry. Stop! And Archive Stop 2. Stop. Stop it now. I'm gonna play Cubex and draw. I'm gonna play Cyberclone. And I'm gonna Cyberclone. The. The Demobot. Okay. Jeez, you really hate Demobot. And then I'm going to play my own Demobot. And then an even Ivan. And then I've got this EP I'm going to discard because I'm going right back through the deck. And it is your turn. Imagine playing this deck against a new player. Yeah. <laughs> they would be done. It's uh, uh, our friend, our friend Bob, used to play the most broken decks against uh, new Magic players. He like, he, he, like, he like playing like Legacy, like playing Broken Shroom, the Hegemon Commander decks, and it was just like he's just like taking a combo turn. New players like they're like what? I just want I just so you won, you won the game, right? And he's like, no, 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 no. Hey, give me this. Yeah, yeah. that's yours. Give it's me back that. to you. I'll say shadows. Boss Zarek. Bow. Steel. 
Nexus. Gamgee. Cold Bruno. Capture. Red Pain. Steel. Shoot. Shooting. Even Ivan. Bow will reap. I'm going to discard the Fence Raider. I think that's not actually bad for me. I'm done. All right, I'm going to say a Logos. I'm going to Effervescent Principle. I'm going to Even Ivan. I'm going to Lethal Logic. <laughs> oh, look at this Eclectic Inquiry. I'll play this Eclectic Inquiry. <laughs> I'm going to reap with Damabot. I'm going to discard... Do you know what the biggest simultaneous board ever on stream was, Joker? Explore. Are, you, are you a lore master? And I'll draw. Bigger table, yeah. You know, how, how do we even fit that on stream? <laughs> that doesn't help. I can zoom out a little bit. It's gotta be close. Yeah, I think you might be right. Uh, I'm gonna pop the Neogenic Serum just so you don't Nexus it. How many turns ago, I will you concede a Justin? I never concede. You never concede. There's been there's been Keyforge games that I was sure that I lost and ended up winning. Uh, now it, that's like one out of you know thirty, but still. Q Max is gonna fight old Bruno, and then Neogenesis Researcher is gonna fight old Bruno. Uh, thanks to the Neogenic Serum. Yeah, the token creatures can push it to, like, absurd amounts, right? I feel like you'll just end up stacking your token creatures, though, because it's a little more... I guess you can't always stack them, but... But, uh, those boards might get a little silly. I really hope there's a lot of good amber... Or, like, a lot of good creature control in the next set. Uh, Cyber Clone's gonna fight Gamgee, and then Infomorph's gonna fight Gamgee. And it's your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw. Yeah, board control is very important. And you'll get one from me. I like the, uh, the Winds of Exchange or the um, Compacts of Equity on Board Wipe we saw. Making decision uh, paralysis from these kinds of boards, at least with tokens, you know which house you're going into. Yeah. That's true. You got 10, you got like seven, seven Luke creatures bodies, in the same one. Yeah. With the Bodies Cowards, then it'd be a great combo. You're using dice to represent tokens. You can't, so you can't, can't do that. Because the cards themselves are the tokens, yeah, you right? Gotta, you gotta use your top card. So like the shell, I don't know if you saw the shell, but the shell is like pretty cool design space for the tokens because the shell is like action, put the card back in your hand, right? So it's like a pseudo, pseudo archive. It's like using your creatures as, as card draw, which is uh, very interesting. Say so. this. I'm going to Mindfire you. Oh, okay. I'm pretty excited about token creatures. Uh, it's certainly a more interesting mechanic than the tide. So I like the tide in concept. It's just in execution, the tide kind of fell flat, right? Right. Because it was like most of the cards are pretty close to fair Keyforge cards. If they're like, if they the like tide, you have to have the tide for them to be fair. Yeah. Or like slightly above fair. Yeah. So it's it's just kind of weird. Uh, I'm gonna play. Lyco Fiend, then Imp Spectre, then Implosion. The Imp Spectre. We're gonna blow up. Garcia. Purging. Hayden. Blown up Garcia. Sinestra. It's 
gonna fight even Ivan. And done. All right, I'm gonna forge. The hell if it's a hard discord. I'm a, I just like drawing extra cards, though. Is the thing I know my opponent does, but I don't. I don't like. I don't actually see the impact of that. Um, that deck was gonna lap me anyway, so I felt like I had to get an extra card just to catch, just to like be able to keep up. Right? It's not like. It's not like the egg hunt is gonna have trouble. But I mean, I, I, I'm not saying that's like you're. Wrong. I'm not saying you're wrong in that say. I'm, I'm just saying I don't have the restraint to not play Halling Pit because it's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna say Brobnar, and I'll put my archives in. What's that, Brob? Dis. I'm gonna say Dis. Put my archives in my hand. I, I also just don't think this matchup's winnable, <laughs> so there's that. I like put his best playmat. Oh, I don't ever ever seen that playmat, but it's awesome. I don't know what has to happen in this play in this matchup for this deck to win. Having played this far into it, because uh, damn. All right, I am. Oh, balance sheet store has it. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to say Dis. I'm going to reap with Cinder, and I'm going to blow up my Qmax. Somebody win that from one of our contests? Or what, like last place or something like that? I'm, I'm going to sure Whale of the Danged and blow up Bo's board. I am going to reap with True Baru. I am going to play Gateway to Dis. Um, so... You'll steal one, and I'll steal one, so we'll break even. You'll get these back, and I'll get this. And then True Brew is going to give me five. Clean it up. Uh, away team has no cards on it. Uh, get... I can't stop any amber stuff. Okay. Actually, hold. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. You could maybe draw into something. Yes. All right. So I'll forge. No. 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 Okay. No. no. She'll, no. she'll take a turn now. Yeah. Um, we'll play Bones. Uh. I'll play Snudge. I'll play Brabble. I'll play Infernus. And then I'll play two more Infernuses. You don't have any pips. <laughs> okay. Did uh, uh did we give away a Wild Earth Wormhole play mat, or do we still have one? I know we got one. I can't remember if we gave it away or not. Okay. Okay. So you'll lose five, Amber. Okay, I'll lose the game. I hyper lose. I'm going to get a key. Goodness this gracious. Deck. Yeah. This deck is well positioned. It's pretty spot. rough. It, uh, it's not, I think that locks the spot in for sure. At six and one? Yeah. I think so. I, there's nobody else has even got like, what's the records for everybody else? Isn't it, I don't even really think like this is the only deck that has one loss so far, right? So, yeah, read enough. Yeah, I have to hit him with the, I have to hit him with the get out, the grandmother from Get Out. Oh no, 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 final game. Flame um, gas versus Argento. Get your bets out. Oh, this deck, this deck, flame gas could not, did not get played last time. This is the hopnopper deck, right? Oh, yeah, the double hopnopper deck. Oh boy, <laughs> why do I have two back to back brutal weeks, dude? What I thought we traded. Lady did get the buy. Yeah, Beefy Lady did get the buy. It's I a shame. Traded it off. Uh, I got. I think I got hit with back to back sometime. No, really. Some number. Yeah, some number enough. of weeks ago. The old back-to-back -back brutal hit brutality. Uh, I mean, it's possible that you break me, right? That's true. This deck. Yeah, that's true. What does this deck do against Brig? Cease Forge? It just you Brig. You you play Brig. Uh, no, it doesn't work because you you would always Brig as long as Cease Forge wasn't around, right? You can't play. You can't slam the Cease Forge to stop yourself from. Well, I could Brig before the Cease Forge loses its last counter, right? 
Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Well, the, yeah, the cease for it would have to be that would yes, yeah, it could happen. It's it's and this deck is like brick or bust, right? I think so. I think yeah. Lost like eighty percent of the DT sealed prelims. Yeah, that's true. I did lose a lot of. That was a lot. I did lose a lot of DT. There was a loss streak in World Collide too, right? There was a skid, yeah, but. Tomorrow, Keyboard Adventures. Wednesday, more sorcery. How are chairs holding up? My chairs are fine. fine. Mine makes kind of noise, but I think it's just gonna it, right? I think I assembled it wrong. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I'm sure the and properly tighten the bolts. The, the rocking, but yeah. Otherwise, the chairs are holding up fine. Yeah, they're they're like good quality gaming chairs. Pol Poltergeists are actually relevant in this matchup. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is our shit too. Twelve. I had a very match one. I have one if blank was in the bottom. <laughs> <clears throat> what did you get? What I get? Who's first? I don't know. What, what did you roll? roll? What did you roll? I didn't look. I didn't even look. I just rolled again. Let's roll, roll again. I have a twenty-three. Sixteen. Oh yeah, I win. I mean. Uh, okay, this is a good. This is a good. Um, I'm keeping. I'm gonna mulligan. I'm gonna start the game off theory conjecture and just archive the top two. Or do I just play the top card? No, I archive the top two. But the thing about the thing about both DT and Worlds Collide were that they were very board centric sets. And so if you just don't, if you've got like board wipes in your deck and you don't see them at the right time, you just lose the game, right? This is how they, this is how they work. This is what they do. Okay, I'll say Logos. Let's try the standardized testing. I'll play Replicator, Bot Atante, and uh, the bot will play this turret. Your turn. All right, I am going to say, yeah, the removal in DT was pretty bad. Yeah, it's I, just like conditional. It was, it's crap. conditional. So it's like once you know all, all the conditions with which your guys live, you just, you know, you play around it. So, yeah. I am going to say Star Alliance. I'm going to play Walmart. And I'm going to raise the tide with an amber vac. Uh, and then I'm going to buy him Discovery. Huh. And I'm going to pitch this officer's blaster. And it is your turn. I will draw three. Say Brobner. Play Gengar Chief and fight Walmart. Play Groggins. Your turn. Actually, Groggins. Uh, that's fine. Uh, generate some amber? Nope. Excuse me? Nope. I am going to say Logos. I'm going to BDQ to kill Groggins. Uh, I'm going to play Seaborg and Chronophage. And it's your turn. I will draw three. Yeah. Sorry. Say this. I'll fight Chronophage. I will play Schuler, Schuler, Poltergeist, Poltergeist. 
As much as I hate doing that, I'll play Yerk. Discard Archimedes. Your turn. Just uh, forced to play the hand I didn't want to play. Yeah. Basically. Uh, that's like a that's like a bad time for that. Yeah. Game. All right. It would have been amazing. Gonna, Maybe later in the game. Gonna say Shadows playing Hobnobber. Gonna play a Sea Urchin. Gonna play another Sea Urchin. And we're gonna mug Replicator before he starts using Seaborg's ability. That would be pretty sweet. And it is your turn I will draw for. This play streak play imp 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 hop fight fight reap your turn I am going to say Star Alliance. I am going to play Triska. I'm going to play Valmart. I am um, going to have Valmart fight streak, and then I'm going to Unity or Discord to have Searton fight streak to kill it. And it is your turn, I will draw. I just want to say this. So I will. I'll fight Triska. I'll fight Valmart. <laughs> I'll read twice. I feel like we're playing some other game. <laughs> it's very different. <laughs> I'm done. Some other very different game. Is Keyforge your guys' favorite card game? It is absolutely my favorite card uh, game. Yeah. Yeah. It is 100% my favorite card game ever. I don't know if Nathan would say ever. I, I would have a hard time saying ever. However, Keyforge does things that no other card game has ever done and likely will never ever do again. Um, so uh, I, the difference between this and other card games is that I never feel bored with Keyforge because you just open a new deck. You just play, I mean, even with the decks you have, like, you, there's so much content. Yeah, there's so much you can do. Like, Justin and I could never open another deck again and never run out of games to play with the stuff that we have. Yeah. So. The unique games that we have never played before, right? Yeah. Um, okay, I am going to... That signaled to me that, like, that was, like... Pure setting up brig. This was support on game found, so it's been great. Like uh, the, the game found itself has pretty much exceeded expectations. War machine high command. The uh, the communication of Ghost Galaxy consent continues to be very impressive. What they're doing with content creators and giving spoilers out is awesome. Yeah. Uh, with this, they're like basically saying you can show your spoiler on this day. Yeah. So that you don't step on other content creators. Yeah. Like, but they, they did they spotlighted people. They're like, here's they, our con corners spoilers. Here's Wild Wormhole spoilers. You may, you may not have checked them out. Go go, go to their places. So that's look very at. cool, especially that's for awesome. like new people that are backing the Kickstarter to see content creators. A couple of content takes a page for Keyforge that doesn't have fighting as the main goal. I yeah, Lorcana's so got a lot of got a lot of good, good buzz ahead of time. So. I, I think if if it does something different, which it's like Disney, right? I think they wanted to shy away from like direct uh, yeah. uh, competition or like direct violence against each other. Um, I, I'm interested in Lorcana for sure. We'll, we'll probably check it out. Yeah, we do have a lot more decks to open, yeah. But I, I mean, I bought like 300 decks in that sale, so. Uh, I am you know, going... I mean, what was coming out to you? I mean, we, we have plenty of decks. Uh, I'm going to say Shadows. I'm going to play Seeker Needle. I'm going to scoop the uh, Capitrubu Ganger. And then I'm going to mug the Capitrubu Ganger. And then the... Urchin. Uh, uh. Sits tight. And it's your turn. I'll say check with seven and I'll draw. Logos. By interruption. 
Yeah. Interdimensional graph. Yeah. ZYX researcher. We'll archive graft. Um, play bot atante. Play bingle. Bot atante. I'm gonna fight Sierra. I'm done. All right. I'll forge, and then you get all this. Give me. Gimme, give gimme. Give I am going to say Logos, I'm going to play Mecha Buoy. That's submersive. Six. Yeah. I'm going to static charge. And then I'm going to discard final analysis. I don't want you to draw whatever, whatever, whatever the hell you're drawing. Um, and it's your turn. I'll draw for Forge. Sack charge will blow those two guys up. I'll play... Play Barabnar. AOA is like a... The, the thing about AOA is it's like a connoisseur set, right? Not a, it's like it, it's you, you it's a you get it's an acquired taste. Play obelisk. Play lollop. Play flame wake shaman. I'll do two. The lollop, and then I'll reap with Ganger chieftain. Your turn. And that's what Christian Peterson said. They want to address the fact that opening low power decks sucks. Well, it's true. It does that, that's that is a complaint I see a lot from people who the thing is that complaint comes from people who don't want to get into keyforge for that reason. Yeah. So what I think he's trying to do is is to try to figure out a way to bring those types of people into the game. Yeah. And he gets a tree. Let's do an tree real quick. Real quick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As long as long as we Rick and Morty. AOA is the Rick and Morty of <laughs> keyforge sets. I've always said this. One tree. I want to get up for it. Again. No, he doesn't have enough power. All right, fine. He's like, no, nah, I'm just, I'm right here, man. Okay. <laughs> He's so hungry, you didn't want to stand up. You can still play with low power decks, and we yeah. we say that all the time. And that is my reply to people who say that: is you you can still they have fun. Our formats. You can still have fun with them. They're like adaptive. But that's that and is like a notion, a preconceived notion that a lot of people have about the yeah. game. Is that you? You buy a bunch of decks and you throw a bunch of them in the trash. That's apparently yeah. what people. Well, think I mean, I think I think there are certain members of the community who who do give off that impression, right? Right. Yeah. Um. So. So. It's my your turn. turn. Yep. I am going to play trickle down theory. I. Do you want for your mecha buoy? I did not. Let me get the mecha buoy. I think mid tier is the most fun. Because you have a lot, of more uh, think, a lot more interesting matchups there. I think decks that are comparable in power are really fun to play against each other. Right? Yeah. I, th I think there are decks that you're not sure who's going to win any given game. I think finding a matchup like that is not easy, necessarily. So. Do we even know if Sass is going to start updating again? Like, we haven't really heard from, from them. Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, they haven't updated in like a year, right? Well, they're on hiatus until the game comes back, right? So... And that's um, laced what they were before. Uh, I'm gonna seeker needle. Uh, it will. Okay. Yeah. Well, there was an email. Okay. Cool. That's why they would wait one month after the set release. That makes sense. Yeah. That's what they usually did. We're gonna wait a few months. Mm, okay. Sweet. Um. Did I seeker needle the the helper bot? 
So that way you don't get the imp. I think so. I'm gonna secret needle the helper bot. I'm gonna play shoulder id and hobnobber, and I'm gonna booby trap right there. And it is your turn. I will draw four. There you go. Ahead. All right, I'm going to say Brobnar. I will the, do this thing. Okay. Were they ready and fight? Fight ready? This creature, I can't remember what it's called, into the fray. Yeah. Um, I'm going to fight shoulder in. Okay. You steal one. Ready? I'm gonna fight Hobnobber. He's dead. I will not suffer a Hobnobber to live. <laughs> reap, reap. Ganger Chieftain. Reap. I'm done. Zero plus two. I am going to say shadows. I don't think you're dumb for disliking the AoE either. It's fine. You can dislike um you can dislike any keyboard set you like. However, yeah, I just, I just, clearly you don't have a refined palette. <laughs> However, there, it is the best set. Milkware. Yeah. That's fine. So I understand. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't try feeding a, a 10-year-old caviar and expect him to understand, <laughs> right? So it's a, it, I'm going to put brackets around meme over that past couple statements. We love you, yo, yo. Sometimes just, we're just we're just joking. Sometimes but, Nathan says things that might make you mad. Yeah, it's true. I don't. I, it's because it's funny to me. It's but, funny to him. <laughs> that's it. That's yeah, really, it's funny to me. That's it. Um, I am going to stir up a buoy pulse one. Oh yeah. Playing World Slide okay. and Mastification bringing actual pain. Mastification is rough. <laughs> that is true. I am an Eddie hater there, Rumbly. <laughs> uh, Well-known Eddie hater. Um, I'm going to start trouble between those two. And then I'm going to Seeker Needle the Ganger Chieftain. And it's your turn. I'll say check with eight and then draw one. A DT apologist, Some super fun DT. Yes, I, I could see, I could see DT. I still think DT has a really, really high ceiling for good decks, right? It's just the average DT deck is kind of miserable, right? That's my that's my biggest problem with DT is that I I have better feelings for a set based off of its sealed play. Right, and my uh, the only seal play that Justin and I had for mass mutations in DT were against each other, right? Because of the pandemic. So uh, I'm gonna say Lucas pick up the archive. I'll graft. Okay. Baby graft. I will play pip pip bot tight mechanic knowledge is power archive a card call the week off the bot. Um, done. Okay, so I get one from Mecha Buoy. I forge for six. Seven. Seven. Six. Oh, yes. I did that. You wanted to I do did that on now. purpose. No. Okay. I didn't do so that by accident. So you get that. I'm thinking that was the other Titan. The other Titan has to be on the not. That's why I put it there. Yeah. I mean, that's why I put it there because I would get an extra amber. Um, I am. Going to say star. I think I think um do you think potential to be a miserable experience with the houses mix? Well you don't have shadows, you don't have logos. Uh it, it looks like the uh the trading uh, guys I are think, like more fair shadows. Yeah, well I think uh so the difference I think is that the average power of card and woe looks very good. Yeah. Like yeah. and token creatures um I think token creatures are pseudo efficiency. Token creatures could also be 
bad ultimately like they yeah. could be they could be a detriment to the set's yeah. power level because you you kind of some probably sometimes have to fight against well so a hyster tokens. like you don't want to hysteria your opponent if they get a board full of token creatures yeah. right i think there's like so that'll be a strength the, against a lot of decks right? yeah For yeah that. so i think there's like whereas worlds collide hysteria was very good against worlds collide because it was just like bounce a bunch of guys um yeah, you can post a link. So, yeah. i think subs can right no anyone can post links oh, okay I think. But you can definitely post a link. Which house brings the most honest-to-goodness creature control in the set? Brobdar? Hopefully, that'd be cool. In Woe? In, 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 in Woe, yeah. Unfathomable. Probably. I mean, Sanctum has its own brand Sanctum. of world. Uh, so Brobdar and Sanctum are like best friends from AOA, right? Like, Brobdar Sanctum decks in AOA Seal were just like a nightmare to play against because they were so good at controlling the board, right? Mars, yeah. Oh, I mean, I can't wait to see what Mars Yeah, no, Unfathomable's good at controlling creatures, too, right? Yeah. yeah just keep, keep them tapped down. I cannot so, wait to see yeah. what Mars got. So. And I bet Mars can do a pretty good impersonation of Logos with its own, like, arc, archiving its own Martian cards and stuff like that, so. Um, all right, saying Star Alliance for the turn. Gonna play Operative Espeon. Gonna play Volmart to make you pay plus three. Gonna play a book. Gonna play Ambervac. We'll play it on Espeon. Uh, I will trickle down theory. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna play the Seas Forge. I think I, I convinced myself to play the Seas Forge just now, even though I was gonna tax you. Corrodus, it uh, it goes to the if, if a token creature's bounce, it goes to the hand as the card it is. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So. That, that is a really the, interesting the, interaction, right? The, this, uh, over the weekend, this shell token was spoiled. It's a one-power creature with four armor that says it can't fight or reap, and it says action returns trained shell to your hand, right? So... Um, so I'm not forging. Correct. And it is your turn. I'll draw one, and then shuffle and draw two more. So... So yes, so um, this purging a token, yes, I believe so. Absolutely. So if you purge the creature that is the token, it's gone forever. Anything you do to the card. I, I think people are going to be scared of what if the good card was a token, um, and I think that's probably a natural feeling, but it's also probably incorrect, right? What if the token is your worst card in your deck, and now you don't have to draw it, right? So, and if there is creature bounce in the set, Right, like it, let, let's say there, there's ways to bounce creatures in the set. Then, um, then who knows, right? Like you, you would kind of want to search um, for good stuff. Then, and I'll draw it to you. Go ahead. First last is already being called out as a nice little bomb. Oh yeah, you could probably like purge everything at once. Oh baby, <laughs> that would be insane. I think it'll be interesting as cards that make other sets make basic tokens and hit some good cards there. Yeah, because then basically they don't have that ability to make tokens because there's no generic token. So the, actually, Ghost Galaxy decided not to have a generic token, even though yes. Fancy Play was going to release it with a generic token. So yeah. that's interesting. And I'm glad that they took a balance pass of the set. So I think they adjusted yeah. a lot of cards based on that. Right. Which is cool. Was yeah. Great. I love that. I think they did They did a round of play testing. They, they like their own round of play testing, which is good. Yeah. Um, because uh, I think if a, if a game could be play tested more, it's Keyforge. So I'm gonna say Brobnar. I'm gonna play Grunt Buggy. Oh, I'm man. gonna I'm gonna fight Walmart. Okay. I'm gonna stun with one two punch, and I'm gonna play a lol. I'm done. All right, so start of my turn, I mecha blee. I lose a cease forge. And then I am going to say perhaps logos. Yes, logos. I will trickle down and gain one. Trickle down is just. You make a movie and trickle down is like. That deck is just so oppressive with that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Artifacts. Poltergeist, where are you at? Come on. Uh, I will play Hydro Cataloger. Come on. 
Campaign is 390. Come on, let's get mm. 400. I think it'll get 400 tomorrow. Yeah, and, and uh, I would expect a surge the last minute as well. Um, yeah. Just to see. We got plenty of time since people that. Since people will be there. Uh, I'm going to play Science and play Armadrone and then play Tall Mage for one, two, three, four. And then it is your turn. Oh, uh, Espeon captured too with the Amber back. Um, okay. And it's your turn. I will draw four. And I'll tell you, go ahead. Yeah, you can put your name on the deck. Oh, yeah. Get in there. It, Campaigns on the September twenty second, I believe. I think it's a, I think it's a, it's going to be a thing to see who got the best deck with their name on it, right? Like, that'll be that'll be really fun. I'm gonna play this. I will discard the portal. I'm gonna play streak. I'm gonna play this. On a fuzzy Gruen, yeah. I'm 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 <laughs> Turret. I need this dang fuzzy gruin so that I can uh, actually have one. Yeah, it's been eluding us for a long time. Discard this imp. I'm gonna fight fight. Okay. And I am done. Alright, so Cease Forge explodes. And I get one from Mecha Bui. And then I am going to say shadows. I will trickle down. I believe the plushies were left over. At least the ones I sold to Gen Con felt like they were. They must have. There must have been more too, right? Because I, I doubt they got. Well, they had to make enough now for the Kickstarter, so maybe they did get more produced. Or maybe they just set aside enough for the Kickstarter. Um, but I, I have to imagine they have they would have kept. They couldn't know like how many they would need, right? I don't know. Either way, you can get one now. Um, okay, I am going to Seeker Needle Schuler. Well, that, I think that may have been incorrect. I don't know if it matters. Uh, I'm going to mug streak. I'm going to play hobnobber. I'm going to stir up trouble between charrette and wallop. And then I am going to booby trap Bot Atante. And that's that. I'll untap, draw four. You'll forge for plus one, minus one. So you'll forge for six. Robnar, play Lollop, play Into the Fray. Hobnobber, Armadrone, Reap. Um, one, two, three, four. You win. Damn. Damn. 
you out. Yeah, I won with my mech booty anyway. Probably. Well, you put up a good fight, Argento. Yeah. It it definitely tried. Uh, the board control actually... Well, it showed itself, right? Because like, the AOA board control was very good against the deck. Because that, that deck could set up a board with like Hobnobbers and the Shadow Cells yes. and all the and, other Starlines yeah. guys and stuff. And it's like... And, then, and it's, the opponent is like, I can't forge my keys cost a million yeah. and you're hobnobbing the ever-living hell. I, I think there is, so. uh, there is a route to victory with Argent in this matchup because of like what if I got Poltergeist at the right time right like my Poltergeist didn't kill anything and then you played all of your really really good artifacts so yeah if I got a Poltergeist a key artifact or two yeah it would have been yeah. very well, and your Shulish could have stolen there was and a Shulish lot of could have stolen Amber yeah. there was they a lot of like didn't steal anything like the the dis turn that you had to like throw everything away was that, like, was, that was bad yeah. it, just, it was like that was prophetic yeah and I still oh, it was close it was close you got the brig that yeah. was like that was like um, that was really important, I think. Good games. All right, so that flame gas. Yeah. Flame gas did need that win, though. The uh, the shadows, um, the shadows and flame gas is like really good. It's like it's like it's like crazy. The, the deck really just works together really well. Yeah, it, uh, it's got. A it's lot one of that I think it's like very easy to underrate until you play the deck, right? I'm not even sure what the sass or whatever on is. All right, let's take a look at the standings. All right, so we got um, flame gas. This is post five and two. This was post week eight. Oops, huh? this was. Uh, they got some hot dog yeah. recipes. Looks like three dumbest things. Uh, <laughs> Keyforge thing. Uh, oh, there's some decks. I close it. You did. I think you did. I was trying to zoom. Yeah, and then you closed it. So. All right, we can look at three more dumbest things. We keep spending too much money on. And Lord of the Rings debunking the backlash against non-white <laughs> actors in Amazon's adaption. Let's get let's get chat off the rails and talk about. <laughs> let's, let, what was let's I doing? Just, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Challenge. We'll start talking about rings of power. We'll it's get. A, we'll, we'll see if we. We'll see if we fact. keep chat on topic by talking about rings of power. Let's see the deck, dark black. All right, so uh, down here, egg hunt six and one, six and one, pretty good. Pretty Flame good. gas five and two, Wessel five and two, five and two. You haven't watched either uh, House of Dragon or uh, Rings of Power? They're both pretty mid. They're pretty mid. Pretty mid. Uh, Wesel 5 2, Saeed 4 and 3. I'm going to neg those shows. Beefy Lady 4 and 3. Rings of Power of House of the Dragon, which backlash is worse? Uh, it's the same, right? It's like exactly it's the, the same. same backlash. No rings in Keyforge. That's right. Yeah. Crowdorn with 4 wins. Crab Deep, 3 wins. Phantasmal Anchovies, 3 wins. Sree, 3 wins. And then a two and a one. So like, mm. I feel like these are still in it. Mm, yeah, yeah. I think you these got some, are in the battle. You got some. Hunt. You got some clear separation, right? These are doing pretty well. You got some clear separation. I think they're. Right. Yeah, there's the ring of invisibility. Arcane was pretty good. Uh, Sandman also very very good. You should watch Sandman. Uh, and ring of invisibility is basically the one ring. All right, so that's how standings look. We have three more weeks for each pod. Mm. Boom. Next week we're going to have fun decks again. That puts us uh, towards the end of October. So sometime in November. So maybe we'll have a better idea. We'll have a couple of... Like, the thing is, is uh, it was... We, we founded the stream and we structured events because we knew reliably the release dates of sets. But that right. stopped being accurate. Yeah, right. So now we always have to play it by ear. I almost forgot that we did that because it was never accurate after like mass mutation. Yeah. So well, it wasn't even accurate for it mass was mutation. Not, yeah, it was, that was pushback. So yeah. All right, this is Dark Blacks submitted deck eighty-seven sass Vera Warp. We got. Uh, we not. We're not here to stop the opponent. <laughs> <laughs> what we're here to do is uh, to a uh, vault bless two it's vault make, blessings. It makes so much damage. It's to make a lot of two vault blessings and eleven mutants bro. bouncing death quark. How many? So you got three draw icons and three amber pips with like you know some splashing other stuff. So is that mutant, mutant and mutant. DAB? DA, oh god. <laughs> Buckle up. The Untamed DAV. Untamed also has one, uh, two, three, four, four yeah, mutants. But, but you got an auto encoder. I, do you ever discard things in this deck? Um, two subject Kirby's. You might. You might. I can see discard. Two stuff. diametric charge, dimension door, eclectic, uncaring, positron bolt, 
Horrors Compiler, Bot Bookton, Cyber Clone. That, how many total mutants? Launchlink, Dinobot, Cyber Clone. Is it 11 mutants? Right okay. 11 mutants. Sass tells you. Oh, so like one in three. So you, you can hit some you can hit some gross twenty two speed dude. Good lord, this deck is gas. This deck is fast. It's got army, like I said, army officer as well. What uh, army have... officer with stunner stunner observe you max and explorer rover explorer rover. You can subject Kirby stuff during other turns. So Kirby with uh, DAV is crazy, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's um, insane. The Nell can draw. Good lord. This deck this deck has gotta be It looks so fun. Yeah. Would you say it stops creatures? Would you say it does anything? You don't care about any of that. What you are, word of returning is how you beat Saurians, right? Yeah, yeah. Deal one damage to each enemy creature and then move amber. Yeah. You just be faster, yeah. Yeah. You got Dimension Door. That's kinda like mm. it's kinda like Amber Control. How many creatures do you have? Uh one, one two, two, three, three four. 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 Four, that's probably fine. You got Bouncing de the Death Quirk. It doesn't win often. doesn't win often. I, I mean, see. with no Amber Control and no... It's got zero. Oh, that's, that's uh, artifact. Yeah. So, C is 11. Okay. Subdue. So I, I mean, like... you like BQ bouncing. is, like, the best one. Cyberclone yeah. is, like, really, really solid, too. Is that with the Serum would be nuts? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's definitely true. Cool. Yeah, the deck's sweet. All right, let's check out the Game Pound campaign. Keyforge. 390, 186. Mm, 10k to go. Pretty good. We're going to get that uh, Unchained Almost decks, 2, probably. Yeah. Very excited about Unchained decks. 15 um, days to go, still two weeks. That's crazy. My hope is that um, Unchained decks are offered as like a add-on after yeah. it's unlocked. I wonder, if this will, uh, I wonder if it'll reach a million. A million's pushing it. I think a million is like far and away really super success. Really successful, yeah. Right? Like, so it hits seven figures... You generate you generated you generated an actual million dollars out of nowhere, right? Um, out of the the Keyforge community. Um, so considering that there's like that's that's what like roughly a hundred thousand decks from this then going out. Yeah, I mean there's like there's like it, other stuff, right? Yeah, but yeah, that's pretty good though. I, I think I think it's about ten bucks a deck. Uh, is what it shakes. It's already to. super successful. If it gets to five hundred k, I would say that's like that's pretty good. That's a pretty good mark, right? Um, I could see it getting to a million. The problem is like the European, the VAT tax yeah. and like yeah, shipping that, costs that crushes it. sucks. Yeah. Um, but but knowing that you could get it sooner, right, is the thing maybe. Like you're kind of paying a premium. And we might have decks by January or even earlier, yeah. based on what Christian Peterson was saying, which is yeah. crazy to think about, considering we didn't even know if the game would exist uh, four months ago. Yeah, yeah. In we were pretty sure it wasn't going to exist. Yeah, we were like ready to pivot to something else, right? Yeah. But now we can be excited about Keyforge again, which is yeah. Awesome. We just get, we go back to full time Keyforge at some point. Yeah, so. that's gonna be great. Did say they are working on getting reduced shipping overseas. So yeah, if, I think if, it, if they can do that, that'll be huge. Yeah. And I think they know that, so I think they're they're obviously going to try. That might that might be. Uh... They they absolutely know that that's holding them back. And yeah, but that's that's just like an endeavor, and I I I think they can pull it off. Yeah, uh, but if they can, that'll that'll uh, that'll be a huge bump, I think, in backing. I think it'll be more successful. The campaign was on Kickstarter about saying that's about. I same. think it's probably about the same. nowadays. Um, tabletop gamers look to keep get a game found. Yeah, especially since uh, there was Keyforge, a I mean, sorry, Kickstarter started doing like blockchain stuff. Like when there was NFTs a number, started. there was a number of decisions they made that like garnered like a lot of ill will. Yeah. amongst uh, amongst the board game. Game found is just a better platform, honestly, for tabletop gaming. Um, your your pledge is more secure than it is on key for, on Kickstarter. Yeah. Actually, uh, key, Keyforge is the first secure pledge thing, which basically says if cost of goods increase uh, and your 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 thing goes up by X percent, you can cancel your pledge with no penalty, mm -hmm. which is cool. The stable pledge, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. And I think Keyforge was one of the first, if not the first, to do that, which is just a cool thing to have that the, no other platform has had before now. Yeah. So I like uh, I like Gamefound a lot. Sucker for alter reality games. Hmm. Okay. You had never heard of Game Found before this. I did just because I am a nerd about backing stuff I, aggressively. I don't remember <laughs> when I followed Game Found, but I followed it at some point because because there were a number of people who were talking about how they were going to take their crowdfunding projects to Game Found. A number of industry vets. So yeah. I if like, I well, I, if I had to back something or if I had to crowdfund I, something now, I would do Game that, Found. So the thing is, is like uh, once again, if I could if I can use the retailer lens to look at crowdfunding campaigns. So like as a retailer, I'm not necessarily virulently opposed to crowdfunding campaigns in in general. 
And if I see a good crowdfunding campaigns, um, the store that I work with, we we have the wiggle room to invest in some of those games at like a retailer level so that we can actually get them early. Yeah. Um, in the case of something like, say, um, in the case of like, say, sorcery, right? Um, us having cases of sorcery first ed on launch are probably just printing money. That's just that's just immediately you've, you've made your money back. Yeah, I think we automatically make our money back. Yeah, like we make you probably doubled your money. Yeah, or more. Yeah, right. Depending on depending on how it goes, but um, you would have to like spend a bunch of time researching that, and I don't even know if I could pay somebody to research that stuff. I right think now. Uh, it's actually not that hard to gauge hype about crowdfunding uh, Kickstarter campaigns. Yeah, based off of Board Game Geek and you, a number you of could other spend things. You could spend an hour on Board Game Geek a day and be pretty in tune about yeah, what's I the popular so. thing and what people are going to want to get when it comes out. Yeah. I don't actually think that's that hard. Yeah, right, but it I does get that take... By, it does, so the thing is, is it does take discipline. It does. Because I think there's like you a can certain... Be, you can be like, oh, I'm going to back this one, back this one, back yeah, this one. Yeah, and then before, be really, you know it, before you know it, you've got like 25 Gs because you backed them up. at retailer levels. Yeah. You've got 25 Gs uh, tied, uh, funds tied up that are somewhere you know you're not, you don't know when you're and you might not ever get them back you don't know when you're gonna see them <laughs> it's gonna show up in like two years yeah right so that's that's quite a commitment for a store yeah um all right so tomorrow we're gonna do key racking with logan yeah with some brand new dt decks pretty fun yeah um we could yell at logan to ask him why he's such a bad player yeah well, why didn't oh, you see that play I, i'm gonna i'm gonna be like ready to play ready to play ready come on, to play come on, ready come to play, on, come ready on. To play. And it's going to drive Logan crazy. So that's just a free preview for tomorrow. So pretty excited about that. And then Wednesday, more sorcery uh, beta test cards. Mm, yeah. Um, the beta test is going really well. I've been playing a lot with the people there. There's a lot of feedback. Poor Logan. Uh, Logan's used to that, I think. Uh, we're not. We're probably going to start with Nightmare. If we like beat it really fast, we might try Nightmare. Please skip the table slaps. Uh, the table, no table slaps, slaps is there for, for effect, right? <laughs> uh, so yeah, so more sorcery Wednesday. We had a lot of fun doing the draft variant that... The yeah, the grid draft. draft I think it worked cool. out really well. I, I think I think just sealed sorcery is fun. Yeah, like I like grid draft because I could. I didn't. You didn't just open two bombs and beat my ass. Yeah, like the last time you yeah. played sealed. The grid draft we can like play around. Yeah, each other's we, we, strategies. Were, we were we were like to hate drafting some which stuff. which is cool. I like so. that. You kind of see everything your opponent's getting. Scally caper. Okay, that's the stream. Scally caper does not kill the key racket, right? Because key racket is not a minion. I think was Logan's redeemable key forge person. I don't know. That's a good question. He's not a creature though. Yeah. True. Um, next week, Sunday, watch the stream at the start of the stream. Yes. If you want to, sure. if you want to see things that you have not seen before. Yes. Unseen on the stream before. Very real things that you have never seen before. Effigy of Melaruk. Effigy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. That's the stream. Thanks for watching. Very right. not, not sure you're hanging out tonight. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for a key rack and goodbye.